Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Lego Harry Potter Years 1 through 4. In the last episode we were rounding up some red bricks from Free Roam and doing some of the Green Dot Bones levels. And before we continue here, there is a red brick that I want to get that will help us with the grinding here um, for studs. And it's a very easy, oh no, I'm not, I didn't want to go that way. It's a very easy red brick to get. Um, you do have to have a specific character to get it. Might as well just put on our multipliers here. There we go. Just so we can have some more sense of money here. Anyway, here in the classroom complex, there's a bunch of classrooms that we can go in and kind of explore, and there's a lot of areas to some of these classrooms, but we're not going to do too much with that right now. We're just going to take Barty Crouch Jr. here, and we're going to head over to Professor Moody's classroom, where we learn the metal spell. And if you remember, there was a dark object, I, uh, dark magic item. There's a dark magic item right here. Okay, Milton Bolstrode, Slytherin character. There's another relatively easy Slytherin, if you are interested. Alright, so here in uh, Professor Moody's classroom, we pretty much have gotten everything we need to get, except for the red brick. Pretty sure there wasn't any like students in peril in here or anything. As far as I know, there's no extra areas in this room, so. Uh, where's the owl at? There it is. There we go. What is it? It is fast magic. Oh, well, that's not the one we want, actually. That is a good one to get. I thought that's the one we want. Um. I'm trying to think where that one really is. Now I'll see if I can remember. Um, hmm. Well, bugger. I thought that's, I thought that's the, one, the one I wanted, but I guess not. Um, shoot. Well, that's fine. I'll, uh, let me just, uh, check a few things here. That door pretty much just gives you a ton of money. There's not really any point to it. Is there anything we can do in here? Uh, not a whole lot. We need a character with a key. We need a character with a key. Okay, here's something I can build. Guess not. Oh, let's get out of here. I don't remember if there's any red bricks in here or not, but, um, dang, I'm trying to remember where that one was. Okay, well, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come back for it. Red brick I was looking for was a was a, a stud magnet, but now I don't remember where it's at. Um, I will figure it out though here at some point, but it might have to be in the next episode. But anyway, let's go and uh, finish off the last bon green guts bonus level while we're at it, just so we can have that done, and then. Um, maybe in the next episode I can find stud maintenance and maybe, uh, I'm still debating 
as to whether or not I'm going to show the grinding on camera. Because it really isn't that exciting, to be perfectly honest. Because I'm just going to be going after uh, studs in the same level. Uh, pretty, much the whole, pretty much over and over again. Okay, so bonus level 10 here requires um, a bunch of different things. It requires, um, of course, uh, all three potions. So you do have to, yeah, you, well, you don't have to use all three potions, but that we are going to use all three potions. And we do want to use scabbers here. If there's a button here we can press. Right here. Okay. And there's supposed to be right here. I'm just going to dodge Devil Snare. I'm not going to worry about it. I died. Oh well. I've got a lot of money. Did I lose Potion Green? No, I didn't. Cool. No. This is very finicky. You can use these broomsticks to get around to a few places. You mainly use the broomstick to get over here into this room right here, which you could not normally access. You can turn this knob to open the door um, in case you want want to go around the long way. But there is a purple stud right here if you are interested. This will actually help us with our money grinding. As you can see, we've already gotten quite a bit of money, so. That'll save us the trouble of grinding money in the thing. We do have enough to buy uh, Professor Dumbledore now, but I'm going to wait to buy him because I, I want to buy the store multipliers first. Yeah, I'll fly through these rings here. Alright. Okay. So now, here's the... Here is, of course, the Polyjuice Potion. This is, of course, why we need certain characters. Basically, yeah, you have to have a character from all four houses. Either that, or you have to have a character with a beard. And I don't know. I might try. I might try. Uh, I might try the, the ghost of Professor Bing to see if. Uh, to see if he works for uh, the age line. If he does, uh, that would really help a lot. Okay, I'm going to need Ron here to do it. Okay, Ron, where are you at? Run, lift me up. Yeah. Okay, and if you're wondering where the apple is, it's actually in this tree here. Yeah, you can you can destroy trees and get potion ingredients. 
Okay, oh, we need we need a digger here too. So let's call you two to bang here. Yeah, you can call you to the animals too. It's pretty crazy. Fast dig. Alright, let's use Ron here. Gonna wave the painting. This is the Gryffindor one. As you can see, Ravenclaw, uh, Hufflepuff, and of course Slytherin. So yeah, you do. It does require the four houses. Um, or you can just use a character with a beard to get across the age line to get the to get the gold brick. So either way it works. I'm gonna try to see if Professor Bins actually works. Um, we gotta see where he's at now. Oh, I see him. Okay, let's try Professor Bins once and see if he works. Awesome, he does. That's so cool. I never knew that. There you go. That's the easy way to do that bonus level. Just get a character with a beard and cross the age line. I mean, it gives you the polyjuice potion anyway, so like, what's the point of getting in doing the aging potion? And that is all the Lego Builder bonus levels, folks. Um, kind of kind of spread out throughout this uh, for for kind of spread out throughout this let's play but nevertheless we got them all beat now so i'm gonna go and buy the uh, red bricks that we've unlocked so far and we have already over two million studs which is really good uh, like i said once you get once you get these multipliers going you can get money racked up pretty fast as most of you already know i'm sure let's go and buy ourselves close to eight i go and buy Ability, fast magic. Fast magic is pretty much like a fast build in other LEGO video games where you can basically build faster and move move objects faster. It pretty much makes your magic a lot more effective. Uh, right, let's go ahead and turn on a short time bait here while we're waiting. Oh, well, yeah, and of course ability, gotta have that. Um, okay, we have over a million studs, we can buy Professor Dumbledore right away. Might not even need to really grind that much. I really would like to find, uh, uh I gotta be careful not to spend too much money here. I mean, I can make it back pretty easily. Okay, we got Professor Dumbledore. That's what we mainly wanted. Now we can go and get score times 10. Go and do that. Sorry if the game's a little laggy right now. That's how it is right now. There's not much I can do about it. Alright, let's go and get score times 10. Because I know where that is. As far as uh, stud magnet goes, we can, we can wait with that now. We don't need it. I don't need to really worry about grinding for studs too much now. So score times 10 is here in the classroom complex. It's actually over here in the, by the potions room. You may, you may recall that there is a door here. So we've not gone through. Now what you can do is you can, is you can use the aging potion and cross, and cross this age line to get these studs if you want to. You can also use it for this next area. Um, because as you can see up there by the gold brick, that's where we actually need the aging potion. There's also a polyjuice potion in here. That we can use. And I'm going to use it because we need to do a few things. First we need Justin Pinch Fletchley. Because this guy here has a key. And he'll only respond to Hufflepuff. Wave him and get the key. And we'll go ahead and carry it across the room here. And you can see there's the, the owl. And there's the red brick right there. Let's go quick change to Hermione here. 
because there is a book puzzle here that we can do. Ocean, hat, moon, stars. Yeah, this seems really lame. That's another key. Third key, um, you have to get with, um, I see it up there, I'm trying to remember how we, how we get that one. Oh, okay, I, I see what we need to do. This guy here needs to move. I should have turned on fast magic. I thought I turned it on. There we go, that's what I like to see. Uh, and of course, as you can see, we also we now need the Green Goth Goblin. So let's get him. It's nice that they let you, it's nice that they have this, uh, they have the Polyjuice Potion right here in the room for you. Trust me, there won't be too many other rooms that will do this to, for you. But this is probably the room where you need to change characters the most. So, I guess the figure is that they, that they give you a Polyjuice Potion in this room. And that will give us the third key, which will open, which will unlock the spellet here. So give us these pieces to work with. Now, there's, uh, they kind of have to build this staircase to different ways because you have to get up here to get the red brick and then you have to get over here to get the gold brick and there's another there's some other items over on the other side but first we want that red brick because that is um, a lot more valuable to us and as you can see the, the fellow this is be very glitchy I think it's just because I'm recording this red brick. Okay, and here's the red brick, of course, and like I said, it is indeed score times 10, the final score multiplier. Alright, so there you go, that is all of these score multipliers. Um, we can actually get these studs here, too. If you climb up here and jump correctly, you can land on top of this platform here and get these studs as well, so that's very good. Alright, so now we have to uh, rebuild this staircase here. If this thing will work, it's being very glitchy. Yeah, I can't reset this. Sorry this is being so glitchy folks, it's, it normally isn't like this, I think it's just because I'm recording this now, that's being very glitchy. Oh dear, I didn't place something correctly, so now the thing's been wobbling. As long as I can get up here, that's the most important part. Alright, so now we can get up there, so now we want to get our apologies pushing again. Don't worry, this is the last time we have to do this for this room. Because we need a character with a beard to get across that age line to get the gold brick. So no, we didn't need the character with a beard to get the red brick, but I wanted to, you know, do this room fully. You know, because that's what I like to do, is I like to complete rooms completely when I come across them. Just so that I don't have to worry about them, like, worry about coming back to them later. That takes care of that gold brick, and now there's also something over here. I 
And that is Professor Snape. A pretty good character, actually. Professor Snape is, of course, one of the better characters in Lego Harry Potter. And he um, also does get the dark magic ability, which is very interesting. Since Snape was, you know, even though he was a former Death Eater, he turned to the good side. Whereas Igor Karkaroff doesn't have dark magic. It's very strange how Karkaroff does not have dark magic, but Professor Snape does. So, yeah, um, I think I'm going to have to end off the episode here, because this is being very glitchy. Um, so in the next episode, we already have enough money to buy score times 10. And, um, so you know what? Before I end the episode off, I will actually go and buy score times 10, because I was going to say, they're going to let me move this thing to be very good leggy right now. I do not appreciate it. But as you can see, we have enough money to, pre to pretty much buy everything we need now at this point. So, um, next episode, we're going to be, uh, I think between episodes, I'm going to do some, I'm going to do a bit of grinding so I can have a ton of money so I can pretty much buy everything there is to buy. Let's go and buy if we can here. There we go. Pay for that. Alright, can I at least get back to Leaky Culver here? Game's being very choppy right now. I do not like it. I'll uh, get back to the League of Children, and then I will end off the episode. <sighs> Excuse me. Alright, so in the next episode, we, uh, in between episodes, I will do some, uh, some a bit of grinding off screen just so I can have enough money to pretty much buy everything we can access up to this point. And um, then we'll then we'll be able to pretty much start free roaming around Hogwarts, and we'll kind of do a systematic approach. I'll be explaining that in the next episode and episodes to come. Uh, my approach to it, uh, because we've been kind of just doing it, uh, kind of, kind of just going after the multipliers right away. But we'll be approaching it systematically for the rest of the red bricks and gold bricks and stuff. That will be until that will be in the next episode. So until then, this is Joe Cool Ten signing out.